Good evening. One more time. This morning they were louder. Good evening. Here it is. Graduates, families, and friends, welcome to Northeastern University's 120th commencement exercises. It's wonderful to be with you today to celebrate the class of 2022. Graduates, please rise. Turn to your families and thank your families, partners, and friends for helping you reach this moment. And please thank the Northeastern faculty and staff who supported you along the way. Give them a round of applause. And now I would like you to turn around and salute our golden graduates over there. You can't miss them. They are Northeastern alumni who graduated 50 years ago. They are wearing golden caps and gowns. And finally, class of 2022, give yourselves a big round of applause. You've earned it. <laughs> to our presidential medallion recipient, we are excited to share this special day with you. To our commencement speaker and honorary degree recipients, welcome to the Northeastern family. Now you may be seated. As you just saw on the big screens, I had a lot of fun wearing the VR headset. Let's be honest, with all the world's challenges, a little virtual reality is a nice break. Don't worry, I'm going to let pause Borrow the headset this weekend, and I'm going to be his protector. Making that video reminded me of something fundamental about our university. A Northeastern education is the exact opposite of virtual reality. A Northeastern education is powered by the lessons of actual reality. It is what I call the Northeastern advantage. Intentional engagement with the world, listening, learning, and doing. And just as a Northeastern education is different, my message to you today is also different. At commencement ceremonies all over the world, speakers in fancy gowns like mine tell graduates, Life cannot be scripted. You will reinvent yourself many times. You will learn more from failure than success. These are wise words, but for you they are old news. Life cannot be scripted is helpful advice for people who are beginning their journeys. But your journeys have already begun, learning, creating, and working in more than 140 countries. Yes, you've adapted to countless new workplaces, cultures, and environments. When the pandemic interrupted your Northeastern experience, you adapted to remote classes and co-ops. This made you realize more than ever the importance of human connection and friendship. Despite the shadow of COVID, you wanted the campus to reopen. Returning to Northeastern, you appreciated details with a new kind of clarity. The sunlight on the lawn at Centennial Common, the soaring curve of the stairway in Isaac, the serenity of the koi fish pond. Your perspectives had changed, and so had you. 
Graduation speakers often say, you will reinvent yourself many times. Another tried and true lesson that you already know. How many of you learned from co-op what you don't want to do? How many of you, how many of you changed majors because experiential learning closed one door and opened another? A door you didn't even know existed. How many of you reinvented your classroom learning because you returned from co-op with new perspectives? Experience transformed your knowledge into real mastery and understanding, even wisdom. Many of you implemented these new perspectives in ventures and social entrepreneurship. So you won't merely reinvent yourselves. You will reinvent the world around you. Another commencement cliche. You will learn more from failure than from success. Again, many of you have lived that already. Perhaps you ran into obstacles on your co-ops and you figured out how to overcome them. Or you followed the path in the wrong direction but a mentor, teacher, or fellow student opened new ventures and new avenues to explore. A case in point, the power of clowning. Over the past few years, some of you were encouraged or asked to sign for improv classes. A few of you were reluctant at the beginning, but you gave it a try. You shared with me that this experience help you think on your feet, listen deeply, react in real time, and understand your audience. The head of our theater department, Professor Antonio Ocampo Guzman, tell, tells us that the style of improv we teach here is known as clowning. And in clowning, failure is success. When a clown falls, the audience laughs. And this is success, just as pause. Life is largely improvised, more reality show than scripted production. Your dramatic arc will be shaped by setbacks as well as successes. Despite your most careful planning, you will sometimes fall clownishly flat. But your Northeastern experiences prepared you to stand up again, to move forward, to adapt. The path may be uncertain and your destination obscured, but your teachers, classmates, and mentors will accompany you. They will cheer your progress and light the way ahead. Don't forget that the unscripted life is filled with unexpected joys. Our human connections reveal what's true and valuable. Together we elevate each other, creating beauty and virtue beyond the scope of ourselves. As members of the Northeastern family, we will forever be actors in each other's lives. And we play our roles on a single, irreplaceable stage, this precious planet. There is another line you will hear at graduation ceremonies. We're counting on your generation to solve the world's problems. This line has never sounded very fair to me, but it rings truer than ever. Our world, as you know firsthand, is a challenging place, even a dangerous one. During your years at Northeastern, you experienced a global pandemic. 
you lived through and led an important racial reckoning that forced all of us to listen, learn, and act. Today, we see a brutal war taking place in real time. Around the clock, we are bearing witness to all of the aggression and atrocity that wars bring. We are also reminded that freedom, democracy, and self-determination are precious and worth fighting for. What gives me hope What gives me hope throughout these challenges is you, all of you, with your Northeastern experiences ready to shape the future, to make it better, more peaceful, more sustainable, more just. You are holding flags that, that represent special memories, a place you call home, a place where you co-opt, where you learned about yourself and about others, a place you love. These Individual flags hold special meaning. Collectively, they represent something much more powerful. Now I would like to ask you to raise your flags and wave them. That is one of my favorite moments at commencement, the sea of colors of movement, of our shared humanity. It's a moment that encapsulates your collective experience at Northeastern. It also represents the collective impact you already had on the world. Your global experiences have taken you far beyond the cliches of commencement speeches. These experiences will make all the difference as you lead organizations, mentor new generations, and create works of vision and impact. Your entrepreneurship will transform society. Your inventions will change the course of tomorrow. The Northeastern advantage will serve you ev in every endeavor. Wherever your journey leads, this community you'll, will be there for, to uplift you. Keep your friendships and connections strong. Never stop learning. Class of 2022, I salute you. So I'm going to give you a charge. It's going to be very short because the fun will begin afterwards. As Hamdi said, take on the things that make you most uncomfortable, show up in the world for other people, wherever you venture, Northeastern will be there to support you. Your successes will uplift Northeastern just as Northeastern success will uplift you. We are bonded forever. Northeastern will be your guiding star, class, of 2022. Congratulations one more time.